Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're looking at a much less popular medic rifle than we've focused on recently. It's been present in BF1 since its launch, but I personally barely ever see it being used, and yet it's the brother of what is currently the most popular medic rifle in the game. I'm talking about the autoloading 8.35 marksman and why it's a skill cannon that more able players can do serious work with. In fact, to give you some figures, on the day of producing this video, the 22nd of March 2018, the autoloading 8.25 extended has accounted for 13.4% of medic kills so far that day. The 8.35 marksman has accounted for just 2.7%. That's a big difference, and clearly these two variants are viewed extremely differently. Let's explore why. So we'll open with the term skill cannon. It would be reasonable to say that weapons which are highly popular in first person shooters tend to be easy to use and suit the average player ability. Therefore, it will be be reasonable to draw from that, that on the flip side we have weapons that aren't used very much, generally being harder to use and or being straight up inferior weapons. There's a distinction there. Being harder to use doesn't necessarily make something a skill cannon. If a weapon is just worse than something else, then it's just inferior. However, if something is potentially harder to use but potentially very powerful, well there you have a skill cannon. And that's where I think the autoloading marksman lies. If we compare the marksman with the super popular extended Ended, the marksman sight makes it harder for some people to use up close but gives you greater range capability. The 5 available rounds of the marksman compared with the 16 of the extended makes it again harder for some people to use but the damage and rate of fire can make it ridiculously deadly. The marksman has a max damage of 42 compared to the extended's 38 and a minimum damage of 30 compared to the extended's 21. Then the marksman and indeed the factory variant are in some circumstances way ahead of the extended in terms of time to kill, especially at medium medic rifle range. This can best be quantified by considering bullets to kill. Outside of 22 meters, the extended requires 4 shots, the other two variants require 3. Outside of 38 meters, the extended then requires 5, the other two variants still require just 3 all the way up to 71 meters where they'll then require 4, and that's the maximum you'll need. 3 or 4 shots to kill at a rate of fire of 359 rounds per minute. So you usually need to land 3 out of your 5 available shots. Now trust me, this is for sure a tough task for a lot of players to nail consistently, at least to begin with, all whilst dealing with stronger horizontal recoil than with the extended, but the rewards can be huge. The marksman doesn't feel like it has a super fast reload considering how often you'll be doing it, it's not a highlight machine as you've seen in the footage, instead it's a powerhouse when it comes to quick clinical single kills. It has better spread and better range when compared with its super super popular brother, plus a truly ridiculous potential time to kill. With all of that said, I've said before that I think the autoloading extended is one of the best weapons in the game currently, and I still think that. For the vast majority of players, that variant will be a far better fit. There's nothing wrong with using a more forgiving weapon if it fits your playstyle and or ability level. For a lot of players, the autoloading marksman won't be a good choice. It's a pretty demanding option that requires good reactions, a fast trigger finger, solid aim and positioning sense. You can't run into the open and take on huge groups of people. It's not a great weapon for multi-kills, etc. But for the right player, it can be phenomenal, making light work of one enemy after another regardless of range and often whatever weapon the enemy is using. Now you can also make a case for the General Lou, the RSC-1917, the Stelbsladder 1906, and obviously the factory variant of the autoloading 8.35 being skill cannons. They have their own strengths and weaknesses whilst falling into a similar category. Although I think the RSC now takes less skill than it used to, while the Selb 1906 and the General Lou currently aren't my preference. And I chose the Marksman over the factory today because it's a bit further out of my usual comfort zone and the viability for range combat, if you can get used to using the Marksman scope at close range, is very valuable. But this is all just my opinion. What do you think? Think. Do you like the autoloading 8.35 marksman? Do you prefer the extended or even the factory? And what other weapons do you consider to be skill cannons? Let me know in the comment section below. Now we need to quickly shoot over to the board of awesome to show our respect to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. They are the financial lifeblood of this channel and I truly thank everyone on this board. If you want to join them on the board of awesome then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description and in my pinned comment where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to
to like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Latest.